All right. Here with my man Lamont Pearson. Lamont, first I gotta ask, is it beard season? Everybody got beards. What is going on with the headbangers and band camp? Uh, <laughs> you know, I keep my beard all the time. Whether I grow it high or keep it low, I always keep the beard. Everybody so, trying to be like you. Uh, I don't know about that, but you know, I just keep my beard. Because I hate to, it grows so fast, I hate to keep cutting it and I have to cut it every day. And I, I'm one that don't like to do it, so I keep my beard. Well, let's jump right to it. What's what's next for you? What When are we going to see you back in the ring? Uh, right now, they're saying I could be back as soon as November, December. Mm -hmm. uh, everybody know I want the Danny Garcia fight. Now I got a mandatory, he got a mandatory fight, so I don't know what's going to happen at this point. I just know if it's November or December, I'll be ready for whoever. Do you think that fight will ever happen, or do you see Danny possibly moving up and waiting and vacating? I, I really don't see it. I don't think it's going to happen at this point. Mm -hmm. I think that it, uh, it should happen. Mm -hmm. I think that it should happen now, but if it don't happen now, I don't Obviously, think Obviously, um, you know, the Danny Garcia fight is, is, is what you want. But if that doesn't happen, what's the backup plan? Um, I'm not sure. I'll fight anyone at this point, but I know to keep my uh, IBF title, mm -hmm. uh, I have a mandatory a guy from Argentina. I think mm -hmm. uh, they just told me that. And um, 46 and 0, he don't have a bunch of knockouts, but you know he's been winning for years and he's been a solid pro for years. Mm -hmm. So uh, that's where it seemed like that's the road that I might have to go down. So. Listen. Is that frustrating to, you know, when, when you reach a certain level and you're fighting certain names, you're fighting the Amir Khans and, and whatnot, to have to go back and then fight someone who's maybe not at that level, is, is that frustrating or, or I, I guess, less motivating for you? Uh, I just love fighting, so it's not, um, it's not less motivating. Mm -hmm. um, I'm always going to be motivated to fight. Honestly speaking, I, I do feel uh, a little disappointed that I'm not fighting the bigger names at this point. Mm -hmm. I feel like, you know, that's all I should be fighting. Because I always want to do that for the fans and just for me. I always want to challenge myself. But, you know, I just love fighting. So regardless of who they put in that ring, I'm going to go out there, I'm going to train hard, and I'm going to go fight and have fun while I'm fighting. Why, why don't you think you're getting those fights? I mean, it seems like it seems like you you give everything in the ring that fans would like. I mean, I mean you're a very technical boxer, but you bang too. And, and every fight you've been in has been entertaining, so it seems logical that you would be in all these big fights. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I'm not sure. You know, I'm not sure why, what, what people want and why they want it. You know, sometimes they can just not like you for their own personal reasons. I have no idea. Um, all I know is that I love boxing. I'm going to continue to do this regardless of, you know, who like me or not. <laughs> that's, that's the standard Lamont answer. I love boxing. <laughs> yeah, I just, I just I, you know, I love everything about it. Just, you know, working out, preparing for a fight, the whole strategy uh, part of it, mm -hmm. uh, the whole the physical part of it, the mental part of it, everything about boxing, I, I love yeah. it, man. How much longer do you think you can still get down to 140? I mean, is it is, it, mean, is it tough for you to get down there? It's, it's pretty tough, but mm -hmm. at the end of the day, people say the older you get, you know, the uh, you know, the more weight you're gonna carry, but I feel yeah, like, look at me. <laughs> I feel like uh, I'm getting smarter at, at, at the game. Um, I know my body more, mm -hmm. and uh, I'm able to get down easier than I did in the middle part of my career. So mm -hmm. I think I can hold on for a while, but it, but if any opportunity came at welterweight, I'm pretty sure I'll jump on it. I was gonna ask you if you even want to keep making 140 if you're not gonna get the names that. Yeah, you I, know. I, I, I really don't. Because uh, it's a lot of names at 147. Mm -hmm. but, um, We'll see if something happens. I'm not going to just go up there and be like, okay, I'm, I'm a welterweight. Mm -hmm. If an opportunity comes, then, then that's when the time I'll switch over.